Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Teacher Cast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and thank you so much for joining us today and making Teacher Cast your home for professional development. We just got back from a fantastic keynote where we learned about a brand new product coming out called Spike Prime. The event was absolutely amazing. It was filled with educators and amazing people that were all here to come together for one reason to help our students have more confidence in the classroom. Did you know that when students sit in the front of the classroom, they have more confidence and ultimately they do better in school? That is the driving force behind the brand new Spike Prime platform that is available. And I sat down with the president of Lego Education to tell us all about it. And here's our interview. We are here live in Manhattan with Espen, the president of Lego Education. How are you today? I'm super excited and really good. It is so nice to see everybody here. We are, of course, launching a brand new product geared for middle school and STEAM education. Talk to us a little bit about what we just experienced today. Well, I think you experienced uh, uh, Lego Education Spike Prime. So hopefully you also experienced a spike of interest in the same way that students will experience a spike in their confidence uh, and in learning. Because that is really the focus uh, of Lego Education mm -hmm. Spike Prime. It's about making technology-based STEAM learning accessible to everyone in the middle school classroom and allowing them all to engage deeply with technology. As you said, we're here to talk a little bit about a brand new product called Spike Prime. You mentioned confidence, and I love the fact that you mentioned a story about how students in the front of the classroom do better. They have more confidence than students in the back. Talk to us a little bit about that, and maybe what we as teachers can do to help push those students from the back of the classroom to the front. Well, I, I think again that um, you can say a key to confidence is the ability to believe that you can succeed. It's being given the opportunities also to fail, reflect on that, and then try again. I think that's what builds confidence, and I think a key to driving that is probably one of the things that also drive learning. It's about challenging students appropriately to where their skill level is. If we challenge them appropriately, and maybe stretch them a little bit, and motivate them to try, they may fail, but if they get a chance to reflect, they succeed, then you build confidence, then you want to try more. And it's to get out of the traps of either over-challenging them when we know they get stressed and then they don't learn, or to be honest, if they're under-challenged and they get bored. I think we know from research that's not when you learn. Especially these days when so many students are needing to be challenged to expand what they're doing. It's also about the, the teachers expanding what they're doing in their curriculum. Talk to us a little bit about Spike Prime here, and, and what do you get in the kit? What can a teacher look forward to? Well, in the uh, kit here you see, which will be for two students uh, in the classroom, they get, of course, a set of Lego bricks, and not just a set of normal Lego bricks. We've, in, we've uh, developed 11 new uh, Lego elements to deliver STEAM learning, and one of the ones that we are quite sort of uh, proud about, but maybe you have to be a Lego geek for that, is this new 2x4 Lego brick that allows you to build together with technique like you've never been able to do before. But again, I think speaks to the idea of a fluid progression from the Lego brick into the technique bricks. Then you get a brain, the hub, ultimately what allows you to make your bricks come alive. And as you've seen today, make them dance, make them react to the weather, and then you get a completely new set of uh, motors and sensors that you can easily build with. So ultimately what you get, I think, is the ultimate intelligent, creative building kit that is as simple and as complex as the Lego brick itself. Well, it certainly is helping students be creative. I love all of the demonstrations that we have down here. The set looks beautiful. You've got some great colors, and I love the fact that you've got some new and innovative bricks. But one of the things that I heard a lot of teachers down there mentioning is that this set can integrate with what they already have in their classroom. Why is that important? Well, I think like any Lego or in any system, I think the value is the more you have, the more you can do with it. I remember when I joined Lego, I was told of the saying that twice as much Lego is four times the fun. Maybe you've experienced that at home. In the classroom, twice as much Lego should also be four times the learning. So again, via this brick, you can integrate with all the Lego that you already 
have. And that means your ability to create and your ability to learn is endless. I want to talk a little bit about how we started off the day. You gave out six Lego bricks and you asked us to build a duck. Why did we do that experiment? Well, I think it's a really good small example of the power of hands-on learning and learning through play. Because it's intuitive, it's irresistible, you're not afraid of building something wrong, and ultimately when you're done, you realize that there's so many different ways to build a dock, and all of them are right. That teaches around solution diversity, because in the real world, there's not one right answer to everything. Um, and again, as we showed, you actually practice 24 skills that you probably did not know about. So for us, it's a way to stage set the power of hands-on learning and learning through play, which is the most effective way to learn. And of course, showing, as you said, that you know there is no right way to finish something. You can certainly try and try again. Mm -hmm. That is certainly something that you guys are using in your new software. You, the set here comes with a curriculum. And you said it's opening up with 33 lessons, I believe, that can yes. all be finished within a 45 minute long period. Exactly, so it is about making sure that in those 45 minutes you can also have a full learning loop. So the students can have quick, successful experiences, they can expand, and they can have learning in those 45 minutes. So it's also about making it easy to implement in the classroom. It offers guidance for both the student and the teacher, and can offer guidance from, for the teacher for each of those lessons to either simplify or make it more advanced depending on the skills and where the students are. And as you also talked about, the software and the coding is actually also made away in a way so that the blocks are served up to fit the purpose. So in the same way, if you're building for the first time, maybe you don't need the full universe of Lego bricks, but one day you'll want them so you can build the Taj Mahal. You know, something like this doesn't happen overnight. I know you've had a lot of work in working with teachers and students. Talk to me about the feedback that you've gotten from both teachers and students on the product. I think we've got very strong feedback. And again, as you're saying, we've worked over two years. We've worked with educators, master educators, uh, also here in the US as well as uh, in China. I think we're getting very strong feedback. We're see seeing students engage super quickly in this because it is intuitive and they get over any barrier around the technology uh, really quickly. I think we also see that from teachers. I think there is maybe a natural reluctance from some teachers as soon as you talk about technology. But once they're over that hurdle, we hear a lot of teachers also say that this is part of allowing them to be the kind of teachers that they've always wanted to be. You know, one of the things that teachers also ask is how do we connect with Lego education. And mm -hmm. one of the best things that a teacher can do is reach out to the Lego education team and become a member of the Lego Education Master Educators program. What does it mean to have something like that, a, a network of hundreds of educators worldwide now? Well, I think it's a, both a fantastic network to be out there and part of mobilizing to a different way uh, of uh, teaching and bringing this uh, awareness. But it's also, as we see here, a super platform to give feedback into us around not just our solutions, but what are the challenges that are faced and what can we do about it. So I think we're very privileged to have this uh, group of master educators. And, and finally here, one of the things that you showed on the slide presentation today was the roadmap. Lego Education started back in 1980, I believe. That's correct. We're going almost on 20 years. What is the future? What are we going to see over the next couple of years in Lego Education? Well, I think we're going to uh, continue to expand also from what you have, uh, what you've seen here. The journey that we are really starting now, which we think is again the big new innovation from our side, is again making STEAM technology-based STEAM accessible for everyone in the classroom. And we want uh, to expand that and then expand the number of learning opportunities, the subjects, etc., that we can deliver to that. And again, our target is to get into every middle school and every elementary school because that will allow us, allow students not only to get comfortable with STEAM learning, it will allow them to build their confidence and we think that's one of the biggest gifts that we can give students and by the way more confident students also deliver better results in school.
It is certainly all about confidence, and it is certainly all about the brand new kit here, Spike Prime. When is it going to be available? How do we uh, pick up one of these for our upcoming school year? Well, uh, we are announcing it today. We are shipping from early August, but we're available for pre-orders already now. So uh, if you're excited, as excited as we are, please reach out to Lego Education online or through your local uh, sales rep. And of course, we're going to have all of those links under this video and on our blog post over at teachercast.net. We're here live in Manhattan at the Lego Education event. Thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. We, of course, want to say thank you to Esben and the entire LEGO Education team for having us at the event. A fantastic opportunity to not only meet great LEGO educators, but learn how we are going to be able to bring STEM education into our classroom and provide an amazing experience to help boost the confidence of our students. If you're looking for more information on this and all of our LEGO Education products, you can check out everything over at teachercast.net slash LEGO Education. That's teachercast.net slash LEGO Education. And we would really appreciate it if you took a moment today and checked out our subscribe button. Let us know what you think about our channel. You can, of course, subscribe over at teachercast.net slash YouTube. We would love to have you continue making TeacherCast your home for professional development. So on behalf of everybody on the LEGO Education team and everybody on the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.